Hello my friends, here we are back in Luminar Neo and today we are doing a little bit uh, more different of a video. We are going to edit the same photo, this photo on Luminar Neo and Lightroom and compare which one yields a better result and it's easier to use. This photo, just so you know, it is taken with an iPhone. If I go here on Lightroom, you will see it was taken with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I took this photo on November 14, 2020. I was just scrolling this morning to my phone and I found this photo and I said, huh, I take this one, I took this one with my phone. I bet a lot of people would like to see how to edit iPhone photos since a lot of you probably do not have an expensive camera. So let's see how we edit this. First, I would like to straighten my horizon. So I will go into the crop tool and just click the horizon alignment. All right. That is good. I do not want to crop it. Do I want to crop it? Let's crop it. We'll do it uh, four by five. And let's see what composition I like. Maybe I don't want to lose too much of the sky because I like the sky. Maybe I'll do something like that. And accept that. Now I have these people that were in my shot when I took this photo, so I would like to erase them. I will go to the erase tool and with a brush, let's see how good of a job it does with erasing them. That is not bad. I'm going to do it again just because I feel like it missed a little bit over here. All right, that is good. Moving on into this person over here, erase, and then this one over here, erase. And why not? Let's take out these people over here too. One, two, three, erase. And we got rid of the people. There is one more here. I didn't completely delete it, so we'll do it again. There we go. Now let's start with the creative edit. What do we want to do? First, I want to create more drama in the sky. The sky was quite dramatic when I saw it, at least the way I remember it. So I will go to, let's see, do I want to go to super contrast? Nope, I do not like what that does. I will go to enhance. Let's start with enhance and we'll move this to the right. About there, it looks right to me. Then I am going to go into color and here is a trick to get more um, contrast into the sky. We have all these blue spots into the sky. If I take the luminance of the blue down, it will create a lot more contrast. You see that? So there you go. Now we have a lot of drama happening in there. All right, that is good. Let's see before and after before and after. I like that. Next, let's go into landscape and add a little bit of golden hour to just kind of warm up a little bit the highlights. And I like that. Foliage enhancer. I don't really want to enhance the greens. I feel like the warm tones are my main focus. So this is before and after landscape. What else do we want to do? Uh, what happens if we mess with dramatic? And this is something I don't usually use. Yeah, and that's why I don't like it. Let's see, what else can we do? Let's go into develop and we'll add some contrast. We'll take down the highlights and maybe bring down the shadows a little bit. All right, then this is the before and after. I like that. Now, let's see, I want to kind of dark on this left side and just kind of leave a path here that will just take my eye into the middle of the island. So the way I will do that with develop, I will take the exposure down, something like that. And then with the big soft brush, I will just paint this onto this left side. Maybe something like that. Let's see. And then I'll go into the right side here and just leave a channel like in the middle for my eye to go into. Let's see. 
This is the before and after. Before and after. That looks good. Maybe even apply a vignette. Let's go to the vignette. Where is the vignette? There it is. Choose subject. I'll put it right here in the middle. Amount, I'll bring it down. Size, I'll bring it down. Feather, 100%. Maybe apply a little bit of inner light, not too much. And now I will adjust the amount to what it looks right to me. Something like that looks good. And this is the vignette before and after. Before and after. Good. Let's see, what else can we do? I want to add a sun flare over here. And I'm going to add the sun flare that I gave you guys into the how to add sun flare uh, tutorial. So if you do not have it, go into that video and download the sun flare. I'll increase opacity to 100 and change the blending mode to screen. And now I will adjust it to kind of fit with my image. Something like that. And let's see. This is without the sun flare. And this is with sun flare. Maybe it's a little bit too much. I am going to reduce the opacity to about 68%. All right, let's see the whole E edit now. This is the before. This is the after. Before and after. I still want to darken a little bit more here on the foreground. So I'll go back to develop, reduce the exposure. And, oh, you know what? Hold on. I am on my sound flare. I want to go to my image. Develop, reduce the exposure like that. And then with nice big soft brush, I will just paint some of this onto the back over here, onto the side, maybe over here. Something like that. Uh, I want to erase it out of this stuff because I do like this foreground. I found it quite interesting. All right. So this is the before and after. Now our eye kind of leads into the image. So I like it. I want to make this uh, golden colors a little bit more orangey. So I'll go into colors and then I'll go into the hue and I'll take the yellow just a little bit towards the orange and the orange a little bit towards the red. And as a last touch, I would go to mystical and just add a little bit of mystical. This is the before and after mystical. It just gives it something magical. And this is our image before and after. Before and after. Now let's do the same edit in Lightroom and see if this is easier or harder. Going to Lightroom. First, I will crop the image. I will apply the same crop. Let's see, something like that. We'll go with that. Then I will take the healing brush and let's see, I wanna erase that person. And let's see, the feather is too much. I'm gonna take it down and I'll increase the size a little bit. And I do not like what it did in there. I will do it again. I will use a clone brush. And now I take the brush size smaller. And I need to feather it a little bit. I do not like it. Let's see. Make the brush even smaller and paint a little bit bigger. There you go. I'll erase this person and this person. And I do not like what is sampled for that one. We want to sample it, let's say, something like that. It's not the best cloning, but we'll pretend it's good enough for now. Gotta get rid of these little people too here. One, two, three. I'm having trouble getting rid of these people. All right, we'll leave them there for now. They're very small. And this one here caused me trouble. Hold on, this is not right. 
I'm gonna erase that one. Do it again. I never liked the clone and the healing brush on Lightroom. I usually use Photoshop for this. But here we are gonna use this one. Erase again. That one matches better. It's better. It's not perfect. I can still see smears in there. And I don't like this one in here too on the end. So let's try this one again. That is better. It is not perfect. Let's go with that for now. We don't want to waste too much time on that. Now, let's edit the sky first. For that, I will take my masking and say select sky. And now with the sky selected, I want to add some contrast. I want to bring down the exposure. I want to take down the highlights a little bit. All right. We'll go with that. Maybe I'll take the exposure just a little bit more down like that. All right. Now let's see. What do we want to do? I want to add a little bit of contrast. Take down the highlights. Open the shadows a little bit. Add a little bit of white. Bring, bring black, the blacks down. Okay. I add some texture. A little bit of clarity. We'll add some vibrance. I'm going to add a lot of vibrance plus 28, but then I'm going to take the saturation to negative 7. Onto the calibration, I'll take the saturations of the blue up. And you see when I put the calibration blues saturation up, not only that it saturates the blue, but it brings out the oranges and yellows. So I'm going to increase that, but now my blues, of course, they are way blue. So we'll go to the saturation to the blues and bring them down. We'll also go to the luminance into blue and bring those down to create that drama. All right. Now we'll go to the hue and we'll take those yellows into the oranges like we did in the other, in the luminar. All right, not too much, just a little bit. Then I go into the color grading, I'll go into the highlights and I just wanna add a little bit of this yellow that comes with the program. I'm just gonna add that into the highlights a little bit. All right. I want to go back to the hue saturation and just take the hue of the greens a little bit towards the cooler tones and also maybe I want to darken them a little bit. There you go. Get a little bit more contrast there. Now I am going to go back to my masking. I'm going to create a new mask. I'll select the sky again, but this time I will go into the mask and I will invert it to select the foreground and let's see I will bring the blacks down a little bit just to create more contrast something like that now it's time to maybe add that sun flare for the sun flare I will take another mask and I'll take a radial gradient I am going to drag it right here for the sun flare and with this selected, I will go to the haze and I'll bring it down. And you see that brings like some haze to it. And that will make it warmer. I will make it brighter. There you go, like that. Maybe even a little bit of magenta. And let's see. This is without it. This is with it. Maybe it's too bright. Bring it down a little bit. And we want to move it more in here, maybe a little bit. All right. Now we'll go around on darkening the edges of the images. So I will take another radial gradient and I will drag one on this side. And I am going to bring it down. Maybe even make it a little bit more blue. I will add another radial gradient. This time I will apply it on the bottom side over here and make that one darker and you guessed it we'll take one more radial gradient put it on this side this time bring the exposure down on this one and 
that looks pretty good let's see the whole edit this is the before and after before and after I'm gonna close this mask so we don't get that overlay let's see again before and after um, let's go back to our Neo let's see this is our Neo edit and this is our Lightroom edit and this is how I would edit both uh, I mean the same image into both programs you let me know in the comments below which one do you think was easier to use which one do you prefer and um, yeah that's about it for today thank you so much for watching my name is Skylar Ewing I will see you in my next video